really like things in my water, but when it's sunny, I feel like I want to just do everything I can to jazz up my life. Like, I don't even really like ice, if I'm honest. I find it too cold in my drink, but at the same time, I really want an ice machine. I feel like I wanted a different breakfast, so I've decided to make potatoes and egg. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. So, hello, welcome back to another vlog. The sun is really out in England. I feel like it's the last few days of sun. I feel like today, I don't really know what the plan is, but I feel like we should do everything to try and utilise the sun before autumn comes. I'm really excited for autumn. We all know that. I love the autumn and winter seasons. Um, but I feel like we've got to make the most of this sunny weather and I've also got to get a cool line refresher because any, down, any day now, they're going to stop doing cool line refreshers. I just know it. I'm so happy I cracked what my body wanted this morning. Because I was, you know when you're looking in the fridge and you're like, I don't want cereal and toast today. And then I saw a potato looking at me, I saw the eggs looking at me and I thought, hey, that's exactly what I want. I have a bit of editing and stuff to do this morning, so I'll get that done first and then we can get on with the fun stuff. How does that sound? I try and do that, get all the boring stuff done and then I get to do the fun worky bits. I'm really trying to get into the habit of doing my dishes straight away. That's what my mum does because she doesn't like the thought of like the dishes looming over her. So when we have dinner, there is like, honestly, as soon as dinner is over, the dishes are clean and put away. It's not just like, you don't just wash them and leave them to dry on the side. No, they are put away. So she knows that she can like rest for the rest of the night. So I've been trying to get into the habit of that because uh, I do not do that. I just like leave them by the side. I do end up doing them eventually. But I get into, I do other things and then I forget about them. And then when I come down, I'm like, oh, I have to do my dishes still. So um, I'm really trying to get into the habit of doing them straight away whenever I do the thing that I'm doing. But I feel like we're getting there. We're, we're slowly getting there. I, I have just done my first edit of my video and the weather is so nice. So I'm gonna go for a little water before it gets too hot because it's still a nice little bit windy right now. I just want to see where Banks is. I feel like she just hasn't known what to do in the summer. Also, I feel like I should do my hair because these plaits were from yesterday, but also I can't be bothered. And at the end of the day, no one's going to see me on my walk. And do I really care that badly? No. So I'm going to just leave the... I don't get... Some people I know usually wear their French plaits for like three days and they don't look slept in. I sleep in my plaits for one night. Honestly, I did these plaits yesterday about 5 p.m. And they're so messy already. I don't know why. Honestly, thank the Lord for Birkenstocks. I've put my drink in the fridge so that when I come back, it'll be nice and cold. As much as I don't like icy cold drinks, it is gonna be so hot out there. So I know I'm gonna wanna cool down quickly. Let's go for a walk, people. just come back from the most delightful walk the temperature is perfect because it's warm and sunny like you can feel you can feel the warmth and the sunniness but then there's a light breeze so it cools you down that's perfect you know when you're like wow i love it i've looked after myself there i've really thought ahead seen the problem that could potentially arise and i've avoided it but I'm about to have some lunchy poos. Um, Mum made fajitas last night and there's some leftover mints. So I'm gonna heat up the mints and have, I think I'm gonna have a fajita. We've got some avocado. I actually really like lettuce in my fajita because the cold crisp crunch, that, that just really works for me in there. So I'm gonna cut up some lettuce. Just have a good last day of the sun. I mean, I think tomorrow actually is raining. Oh, excuse me, fly. No, you're not welcome in there, get out. I can't look out if it's in there or not. Oh, it is, right, are you out now? Are you out? So rude, honestly, they just help themselves to anything, don't they, flies? Okay, I've ditched the orange because they were just getting in the way of the straw. Look at this big, beefy boy. I'm gonna absolutely tack this. I'm gonna watch something on YouTube, I think, or maybe the old Netflix. I finished the D'Amelio show. Oh yeah, see you when I finish my lunch. 
Okay, I have finished my lunch. I'm gonna have some chocolates and then we're gonna get on with the next thing. All the good ones have gone. Family. Oh, Milky Way, they're kind of all right. I wanted a Snicker. I really like Snicker. I do like a Twix, actually. I'll have a Twix, I will. Maybe we'll do two Twix. I don't know what any of the Quality Street ones are. What's the... Is pink the fudge? Let's try fudge, that'll do. And what I'm gonna do, basically my mum um, was doing this thing where she's doing a 30 day art journal course or something, I don't really know. Um, and I feel like I have not had much creativity lately. Honestly, August I was in such a rut, such a rut, but I feel like everyone was. And I was just not a good person at all. I was not very nice to people. I just not a good person. I wasn't really investing in any of my relationships and all sorts, um, so I feel like, trying to get my mojo back and I genuinely feel like September already we've gotten off to a flying start. The first date was to fill some of your pages with like backgrounds to work on. So I'm gonna do some like lighter ones with some watercolor and then I'm also gonna do some acrylic I think. But this is gonna be my little art journal. I don't know if I'll actually stick with it. It might just be one of those things that I do for like one day. <laughs> I have had the best time. I've probably been doing that for about an hour. I've really enjoyed myself. Um, so I'll keep you posted on what I get up to in my little sketchbook and if I actually stick with it or not. You see, I've got these little like tiny clear elastics in. Apparently if you get a bit of lemon, it just breaks it. Because you know if you yank those little tiny elastics out, it's really bad for your hair. So apparently, if you get a bit of lemon, it just like makes the elastics break off. You get a little wee cotton bud and you put it in the lemon and it should just pop out apparently. Everything in life is fake. Don't believe anything you read on the internet. My darling angel is a bit hot. You're a little bit hot, fluffy pants. Sweet mother of pearl, it is hot in this car. I'm so happy because I just checked my Starbucks app and I have a free drink to yeah, so I'm gonna get the biggest flipping cool lime refresher that they have on offer. Oh boy, oh boy! I've never gotten one this big, but it was for free, didn't it? You can get whatever size you want. So I just thought, you know what? I'm my own friend here, and I'm gonna help myself and give myself, oh my gosh, I've never gotten a drink this big! Look how massive it is! Mm. Oh, that's a really good one. They were training someone up, so I feel like when they're training someone, they have to show them how it is perfectly. Sublime. Also, there's a Bentley. Like a big 4x4 four four Bentley parked behind me. I'm not really a car head. I always seem to be telling you guys about cars, and I don't know why that is. But it's massive. I've never seen it. I don't know how I'm going to reverse out, but that is so sublime. Before. Ta-da! Yes. Now I have turned in my room. I actually think I'm gonna do the first baking thing from my 100 bakes to make at home, um, which my friend got me. And then you, you basically scratch off when you've done each one, but I'm just trying to work out what one I should do. I'm thinking something lemony. I, and I wanna do this like every time I make one, because obviously there are a few things on there that I have made before, but for the most part, they're things I've never made before. But I think I'm gonna do a lemon drizzle. I actually haven't made a lemon drizzle in so long. I've just gotten a little delivery, which I have no idea what it is. Oh, wow! It's Nana's range of stuff that she's brought out with en route jewelry. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. What the heck? Thanks so much. We've got some little earrings. Oh, these are a bit sweet. I'm gonna say really go with my nice little necklace. Look. Little, you see, and my new necklace that I, my friends got me for my birthday, which says Grace somewhere. somewhere. I think my faves from the collection are these little earrings. They're like a little leaf and a little green gem. Can you see? Really cute. Cannot wait to wear them. Um, and the matching necklace to it. Is it like a little, it's like a tiny little leaf. I don't know if you can see it. What do we think? I love it. Absolutely love a jingle jangle. I think I have decided I will finally invest in one of those like micro plane graters, micro something graters, which are apparently the best type of 
greater zester thing because zesting with this thing is so annoying i've actually decided to make lemon drizzle cupcakes because it just says lemon drizzle i think um and it's basically the same thing but i thought hey i've never done a I've never done a cupcake version. I've cleaned up my workspace. And here are the little lemon cake things. I have no idea if they're gonna be good or not because we only had one egg. So I subbed in the other egg. I made some like buttermilk. I'm just dishing up dinner. We've got baked potato and sausages. Which we've actually had baked potatoes twice this week now. And these from our ground. They were. I was thinking they look different. I should I have washed good. them? You should have. Yeah, that's fine. I'll let you look a bit mud. Never did anybody any harm. I'll give Dad the money one. That's so cheeky. Poor Dad. No, he won't tell. Trust me, that that man will not tell. I'll have them. Then you're having the normal ones. Exactly. I knew. Oh. Paint? What's the potato craze? Paint. What were you doing? Painting. Well, you were inspired by me the other day. Yeah, I'm going to join your sketchbook. Are you? Did you see it was completely covered? I just did my own. Yeah, you can do it. You have to make pa backgrounds, right? Yeah, you just have to fill the page with paint. Cover For backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. The next one we need to do with um, acrylic, otherwise it won't work. Oh. Well, no, I've got acrylic upstairs. Loads Why do I have to do that? Because you're scraping. Well, we can do it together. Oh. Mother daughter bonding. Or is it your sacred art time? Can I? I know we're looking at it. And I haven't time. even done my work for tomorrow. It's right there. I hate boiled carrots. I don't have them. But I know I should have some. Where is the sweet chilli? Good morning, and just like that, the sunshine is over. Look at that. It rained all night, and it's now grey. I told you, it literally comes as quickly as it goes in the UK. Banksy, hello, my darling. How are you doing? Did you have a good morning? What have you been up to? What have you been up to, sweetheart? I always wonder what you get up to. So this morning I'm actually gonna do a hair mask, treat myself to a little hair mask. I have some more editing to do. I'm also gonna do the next day of my sketchbook, which I'm very excited about. I was actually very much into it. Oh, she's bad legs in it. I am all masked up and I'm gonna get myself breakfast, but I really don't know what I'm in the mood for breakfast. Not a clue. What should I have? I kind of want a bacon sandwich, but also kind of just want a bar of chocolate. I am actually going to do something that I haven't had in a really long time, like months. I was obsessed with baked oats a while back, and I just haven't had them in so long. So I'm going to make some of them because I'm, I'm feeling chocolate today. Although I, I'm using a different recipe because I don't have any banana. So this is a banana free one. I really hope that it is good and I haven't just wasted my time here. Oh, it looks very liquidy. I can confirm it looks a bit funny. It doesn't look like my normal one. I'm going to add this um, plant pretzel chocolate, which is actually really nice. I didn't like it at first, but now I've really grown to like it. Like, I really like it. It's got little chocolate pretzel bits in it. Um, and it's like plastic free, made at origin, ethically and sustainably sourced. All that jazz. So I'm gonna pop some of that on it. Just FYI, it's not very nice at all. So I have just finished editing up my vlog. And what I'm gonna do now is day two, when I like the prepping of the sketchbook for this little project thing I'm doing with mum. Um, I will actually leave a link down below to the website that we got this from. You do have to pay for it. Um, but then they give you like a password and then you have access for the 30 days. But I'm really truly enjoying it. Like there's no pressure to make it perfect. And I just feel like it's a lot, a lot of fun. Just kind of like being creative, but having no pressure. Because I feel like every day, everywhere these days, it's like everything that you do has to be for a source of income or like side hustle. But sometimes you just need to do things because you like them for yourself. You know what I mean? There's no monetary gain or any of that jazz it's literally just because you like what you're doing right everyone it's time to rock and roll i've had lunch i've done my sketchbook and i am off to one of my favorite places which is costco you're so right you knew it and my friend is 
very imminently due and I was thinking I've asked her if she wants anything because um, when they have the baby they're not gonna wanna like pop out to the shops and get toilet roll, do you know what I mean? So it's like, text me if you want anything from Costco and then you have it bulk packed and you don't have to worry about getting those sorts of things. I am here and I'm ready to hit up the town. Whole time I've just come out of Costco. I got some big walkers because I feel like that's just a good thing to have. I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't think I have enough space in my car. I then bought three boxes of these, one for them, one for my siblings each, because again, I just feel like it's good to have in the house. You know, if you've got guests coming around and you're like, quick, I don't have anything. This is that off. Do you want a biscuit with your tea? But they're nice, they're like a nice biscuit, you know what I mean? I also bought some Kinder Buenos for them. I can't actually remember if she likes Kinder Buenos or not. And flying saucers. I remember she did used to love these. But again, I don't know. Oh, I don't think I can fit all the toilet rolls in. I bought toilet rolls and kitchen rolls down there, but I don't think if they're fit. I literally just fits in the car. So now I'm gonna go home and finish off all the work that I need to be doing. After a little break out and about. I'm sweating though. I am sweating come for a little walk i have it feels so good when the wind blows the opposite direction you know so the wind is like your hair's out of your face it feels like you're having your model moment you know and it's just like wind machine vibes i love it and it's just i don't have to tie it up because it's just been blown out of my face Peace out punks, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do want more content, remember I have started a little fun series over on Grackle called Grackle Tries where I try and learn a new skill. Um, I will link that down below. I love you loads. Have a great week.